Hello everyone, as you saw in the previous video, we added a more natural look to the environment by adding grass layers to the terrain surface. In the following series of videos related to using Terra World to create an environment with high detail for use in a military simulator, in the seventh section, we will discuss how to add layers of rocks to the environment. Note that, this time, I am going to show you how to install and use the free third-party assets available in the asset store in my project. We will also learn how to set them up. To start, select the Asset Store tab from the Unity Windows section and search for the Rock and Boulders keyword by clicking on the online search. After sorting free assets, we add Photoscan Mountains Rocks, which has very useful and attractive models, to our list of assets. As you can see, I have already downloaded this asset in my project. We continue our work by pressing on the import section. After importing, we refer to its folder inside our project, and in the prefab section, we select a few of them as an example. We need to further change their shader settings from standard to Terra Unity standard. By doing this, we will apply the Terra World shader features on the prefabs, such as adjusting the color of the material, wind, snow, and more. In most 3D model assets, several models usually use the same material, as you can see, these three models are attributed to one type of material, so changing one of them is also true for other materials. Because we will use the GPU instance scatter method in arranging the models, be sure to enable the GPU instancing option, otherwise the arranged models will not be seen in the scene. Next, in the biomes tab, I plan to add my first rock model to the area mixer, which subtracts angles between 0 and 15 degrees from the water zones in the area. Select a new GPU instance scatter from the Add Scatter section, and add the favorable model to the Prefab Settings section, and after changing the placement settings, be sure to enable the Surface Rotation option.
leave the rest as default and attribute the area mixer to it in the input section. Click on the Generate button to display the result. As you can see, the first layer of rock was created on the terrain surface. Now to apply the changes in this layer, go to the Hierarchy section, and select it from the Terra World subdirectory, then apply the favorite changes in the Inspector section. Note that, you can get different results by changing different values, and this is entirely a matter of taste. Here, I changed the various parameters to achieve the favorable result. As you saw in the previous videos, I used a game object model to set various parameters, considering its location in the scene, I also adjust the height range of this rock model in my graph. As usual, we save the items we changed in the hierarchy section to the scatter node, and to record all these steps, go to the area tab, and in the graph section, select the save option to save it to our computer. For more variety in the scene, we add a new rock model to the area mixer we used for the previous layer. After changing the placement settings and also activating the surface rotation option, in the input section, attach the wanted area mixer and click on the generate button. Again, by changing the parameters, we create different layouts in the scene.
In order to diversify the layout of the layers, Terra World allows you to have the highest level of access to how they are arranged. Then we save all the changed items in the hierarchy section in scatter node and graph. In this section, I plan to add a new layer of rock to the shores of the lake. I will create a new GPU instance scatter again by going to the Biomes tab, Add Scatter section. To achieve the favorable result, we have to attach this layer to the area mixer that we created in the previous video to limit the sides of the lake and rivers. After selecting the wanted model, we make sure that the settings related to the shader are applied in it. Otherwise, as in the first part of this video, we apply the necessary settings. Now, by assigning the model to this layer and changing the placement settings, we will also enable the surface rotation option. Finally, in the input section, we attach the wanted area mixer to this layer. It is time to adjust this layer in the scene. Here it is necessary to reduce the offset of this model to harmonize it with the environment. Note that you can have different results by changing the available parameters. Don't forget to save the changed items in scatter node and graph. Now it's time to add the last layer of rock to the graph.
For this step, I intend to add a rock model to slopes between 45 and 90 degrees. After selecting the wanted model and changing the placement setting, activate the surface rotation option again. This time in the input section, I will attach the slope filter 3, which covers angles between 45 and 90 degrees, to this layer. Here, you can see how they are connected. By pressing the Generate button, I will continue my work. To apply changes to this layer, go to the Terra World subcategory in the Hierarchy section, and first multiple the model size. Then, because these angles have a steep slope, the corners of the rock model may protrude from the terrain surface, similar to the previous cases, we minimize this problem by reducing the offset. Now, to adjust the color of this model with the surrounding environment, use the prefab of the same model, and at the end, delete it from the scene. To make the scene more natural, I use the height range option for the latest change in this layer. Finally, I save all the changes in the scatter node of this layer, as well as my graph again, and finish the job. I hope you have enough information by now, wait for our next videos.